Welcome everyone to this Python tutorial. Today we're going to experiment with EasyGUI. It's a library you can add onto Python. We're going to make a gra graphical user interface for a soda mach machine. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do then is create a welcome message to the user. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a comment to start with. And then we'll create a variable called msg and add our message. We'll also create a title variable and call our project soda machine. And then we're going to create a yes no box using the easy GUI library. So the first thing we'll have to do is go to the top and import the library. To do this we say import and the library name. And then let's create a variable called my choice. actually um, let's say choices and make it either yes or no and then we'll make a variable called my choice to hold our result and we'll set that equal to easy GUI dot YN box which is a yes no box and we'll pass in our three variable names MSG title and choices. So let's go ahead and run it to see if we get what we need. And we'll save it. I'm going to quickly save it to my desktop for right now. And I'm going to call it Easy GUI or let's call it Soda Machine. And I'll put my name. And here we have a simple graphical user interface where our choice is yes and no. And if we click on it, nothing's going to happen because we still have to program that part. All right, so the yes no box returns either a one or a zero. So we'll add a comment for that. The yn box returns a one for yes and zero for no. So we'll say my choice. Oh, we did this already. So now we just use a conditional for either of those cases. So if my choice is equal to one, then I'm going to print out a message box that says MSG. We'll create a variable called MSG, and it's going to say what soda would you like to purchase today and well, we need our title again which is soda machine and now we'll give the user some choices so their choices are and you can enter any kind of soda that you would like or as many as you'd like I'm going to do coke sprite mountain dew Dr. Pepper and mineral water. And of course we'll pass this into a button box. So we'll say choice and that variable is different than choices. I did choices plural because I have a number of different choices that you could use and this one choice I did singular because it's going to hold the single choice of the user the person who's using the soda machine so we'll set choice equal to easy GUI and this time we're going to use a button box 
and we'll pass in our variables message, title, and choices. And of course we need a comment, so we'll say um, soda choices for user. All right, let's run this part and make sure it works. And there is an error. Ah, I forgot to close my quotes. So now we've got, would you like to buy a soda today? And if I say yes, it brings up my choices of Coke, Sprite, Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, and mineral water. And if I click on one of those, nothing happens. Because we haven't programmed that part yet. All right, so this was the first part of our conditional that, that we chose yes. And before we go on with that part of our conditional, let's do the other half. So we're going to do else. And then this is going to be if we click the no box. So we'll give them a nice goodbye message. For not choosing a soda. And then we'll say MSG is equal to have a good day. And we'll have a title, soda machine. And then we'll pass both of those into a message box. MSG title. And we want an OK button. that they can click on to end the program. All right, so let's run and test this part. We'll save. Now let's click no this time. And we have our message box and it says have a good day and we can click on okay to end the program. All right, now that we've done that, let's go back and finish the if statement. All right, so we said that if our choice is one, we're going to create a message box, a choice box, and allow them to choose Coke, Sprite, Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, and Mineral Water. And once they do that, then we need to display a box that allows the person to enter the number of sodas. So we'll say displays a box to enter the number of sodas. The user wants to buy. So we'll create a message that says enter the number of sodas. And we'll need our title for our program again, which is Soda Machine. And this time we want to collect the number of sodas the user wants to buy, so we'll create a variable called Soda Number and set it equal to Easy GUI. And this time we'll use an integer box and pass in our message and our title. All right, let's go ahead and test this part. And so we're back to choosing yes. We would like to buy a soda. And we're going to choose Dr. Pepper this time. And I noticed a spelling mistake I'll change in a minute. And now we want to enter the number of sodas we want to buy and click OK. And nothing happens. We'll do that part next. And here I need soda. And change the spelling in that message. Okay, so the next part is now we need to have a box where the user can deposit money. So we'll say displays a box for the user to de deposit money in the slot. 
So we'll say message, please deposit a dollar seventy five per soda. All right, so since each soda is going to cost a dollar seventy five and this is not going to change throughout the program, we can set a global variable and uh, make it a constant. So we'll say soda cost. We typically capitalize constants and we'll set that constant to $1.75. And then we can go down here and use that constant. So we'll say title again, soda machine. And we'll set soda number. Oops, I did that part already. So what we need is money deposited. And make that equal to easy GUI dot integer box. Pass in the MSG and title. So this will make the person have to type in a round number of dollars, like $5, $8. And I'm just going to leave it as that, as most people carry dollars with them these days rather than quarters. And if we want to make sure that we're getting the right value in a variable, we can use a simple print statement to print out the value that we've collected from the user. And this will end up in the command window rather than in a message box. Using print statements is a great way to test a piece of code and then once it's, you know it's working you can uh, comment it out or delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and run it and we'll buy a soda. I'm going to buy a Dr. Pepper. I'm going to put in two and of course it prints two sodas out into the command window because I used a print statement and now we'll deposit money so I'm going to deposit four dollars and it prints that out also. So the next thing we need to do is to calculate the actual cost of the purchase because maybe somebody wanted um, to buy more than one soda like I did in the previous example. So we need a formula to do this. So we say calculates the cost of all of the sodas purchased. And then we take purchase price. This is a variable I'm creating here on the fly and we're multiplying our constant soda cost times the soda number. And again, we'll add a print statement to test that formula to make sure it's giving us the result that we want. So let's run this section of code. I'll enter two sodas, four dollars, and yes, we are getting two sodas, four dollars, the actual cost of the sodas and we'll deal with change in the next part. See you then.